Hey guys, it's Devin. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like the video and uh, throw your comments below. If you do put a comment down in the, or a question down in the comments, I will answer uh, at the end of the video. Uh, I'm not sure if I have any because at this time I have not posted the video before this. So we'll see if I get any comments on that video. So today um, we got the digger up here or the field cultivator depending on uh, field cultivator, field finisher. I don't know, there's so many different uh, different terms. Uh, we call it a digger, cultivator, digger. Um, whatever you'd like to say. Uh, this is kind of our last, the last pass before we plant kind of thing. Uh, it's got the rolling baskets on the back with uh, the tying hero in front of that. Um, and then it's just got the, the sweeps on. So we're getting this ready to go. Uh, we want to put, we got uh, four brand new, uh, newly purchased airplane tires that we want to put on the bottom um, I think actually one of them's on the wing because we had um, long story short my grandpa blew one on the road coming from up north and they stole they stole one off the wing to put on wherever they needed to so um, we want to put all good tires on the bottom the wings don't really matter uh, well they do but they don't we're not concerned about the wings on the road. We'll just say that. But um, we got a few things that need to get repaired. Um, a few sweeps should get. Uh, re well, there's some sweeps that are just gone. Uh, I thought there was one. Yeah, here, right on the wing. That one on the end there is completely gone. We got to get one on there. Um, there's one shank on the very the very front middle that's bent down a little bit um, and then one thing we noticed um, this bracket here for the rolling basket is broken um, we're gonna have to well what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna take take this whole bracket off and then uh, we'll have a We'll either purchase a new one or, I don't know, I think we're just going to talk to the blacksmith or the metal shop and see either they can re-weld it up there or make us a new one. Uh, and then this, the tie and harrow needs to get bolted on over here. Uh, this is my grandpa's uh, ingenuity there. Um, it's just, it's what he had, I guess. <laughs> so he took chain out, actually I think he took chain off the front end of this thing and put it on there. So, all right, well we're going to take this stuff apart and get this off. And then, uh, maybe I'll get some bolts and fix that. Uh, I still do not have the flails for this thing. We just called them again. They still do not have them. But I can, however, go through and start taking these apart because I got to take this flail off or take this bolt out, take the flail off. And then uh, what, what I'm waiting on is this part right here. This is the actual knife that cuts the stalks. Um, and then we got all new bolts. The, uh, these parts here will be reused with the exception of a few because I am missing some and then uh, so yeah so we're going to keep working on this
so we got it off it took a little bit more work than I wanted to this shim must be stuck in place so I'd take out another bolt this thing just needs to get cut off we need a new bolt in there because that's ridiculous so here's the issue um, It almost looks as though this may have been repaired once already. Eh, probably not actually. Um, there's a shim in, or a, I don't even know what you, a bushing probably, is what you'd call it, that goes over the bolt. This silver thing, and then this is what broke out, um, which is around that. So. That would sit kind of in there. I don't think it'll take much to fix. Honestly, I don't, you know, I don't really know, but um, they kind of do a bunch of do a bunch of cutting and welding in there. If I uh, had a good welder, I'd probably do this myself. I th at least I think I'd be able to do it good enough, but. We don't really have a good welder, so we're just going to take it in. Or I'll talk to Dad, and maybe we'll just go get a new one. It can't be that expensive, honestly, but I don't know. You never know with this John Deere crap. Just kidding, guys. <laughs> All parts in general, sometimes they surprise you. We had a piece on a chisel plow that we replaced, and uh, we thought for sure that was going to be a couple hundred dollars, and... It was only like 40 or something like that. It was very shocking. But then the next part comes out and, and it is a couple hundred dollars and you wouldn't expect it to be that much. So that's off. We'll have to get that fixed. Um, we'll probably do four new bolts for the tying there in front. Honestly, I don't know if that tying really does a whole lot. A lot of them tines are broken off, but we'll uh, we'll fix it up and uh, go from there. So. Alrighty, well, this is off. I'll talk to Dad. Figure out what we want to do with it. And uh, I got that bolted back on there. Um, I was just looking over the tines. I got one here that we had on the shelf. So um, this John Deere, what it's got is, uh, let me see this part here on the inside with the two holes here. That gets bolted on the shank. But this actual tine here, you just kind of pound it on, kind of uh, have an idea there. And then there's kind of a spring in here. So the cool thing is you can, you can switch the points out really, really fast. All you need is a hammer. For the most part, all you need is a hammer. And uh, you can just knock it off and then pound it back on. I'm almost positive that I've done this machine, I think anyways, that we uh, did this machine. There are a couple that are just bolted on, um, and then it's like, I think it's, I don't know, it's hard to tell, but there are a few that are just bolted on, and I think that might be what I end up doing. Um, just bolting them on So I know the last time we needed this part I think we didn't get the right stuff right away because I, I don't even know But anyway, I thought I, I just kind of had an idea here um, So right now I'm standing in what I would call my little shop um, We just got propane heater here and it worked really good uh, this winter. Uh, changed a couple tires in here. I was hoping to have this completely done. 
problem with the the way the parts deal was I I didn't get my parts when I wanted to so we'll get this done eventually um, so uh, with this shed here and it's kind of a mess now it's kind of the feed feed storage at the moment um, I want to make this into this whole building from that wall to that wall this all a shop um, insulate the roof insulate the sides rip this room out and put a big door in on that side I'm thinking uh, kind of, I'm thinking maybe where the door is now go from there but make it uh, thinking like 20 foot I don't know if I'd go that far um, but make it wider and taller and then stuff like that uh, the chisel plow the both of the big balers both of the big tractors the wrapper you know I could just get I get everything in here the semi, um, stuff like that. I would insulate the roof, insulate the sides. Um, I'm not sure. I was thinking about maybe closing off one of these doors. I'd probably leave that there so we could pull the truck in. So on the other side of that wall is where we park the cars. I even debated about just going all the way wall to wall taking this wall out and uh, um, insulating that side as well I I don't know if I would go that far it would be something easy enough probably to um, take this wall out and honestly maybe if we insulate this half it might just make the most sense to do that half However, there's a lot more uh, sidewall over there. And like that, I don't know if that wall is insulated or not. Or what, I don't really know. It probably isn't. I'd almost have to rip a board off and see what it looks like. Because I don't really know. But take this room down and make this whole place the shop so I I've said for a couple of years now that I really really wanted the shop and I was just gonna build one from scratch and uh, the more and more I look at this I think it'd be big enough this building is uh, 40 foot wide maybe I don't even know for sure I wouldn't even know, but probably 80 foot long, 40 by 80 or 30, or is it 60? I don't know. This was built, I think, before I was even alive, so um, it's not that old. Honestly, it's it's really not that old. So uh, got it, insulated. Um, do the roof we'd put I'd put some sort of heat in here whether it's propane or um, I even you know I still got this heater uh, just to you know kick a heater like that on for 20 minutes and you can bring the room temperature up a few degrees uh, but have something in here maybe to keep it keep it like say 50 degrees you know it's not that's not too hot not too cold um, it would be easy enough for a guy to work in here you know I don't know what it costs to heat it I even thought about putting putting in an electric heater and then also having like a wood burner uh, just something to think about as we go forward it's not gonna happen 
probably in the next couple of years. Uh, this year our goal is to uh, put up our hay shed or at least the start of a hay shed that we can get most of our materials in. And uh, my mom also wants to redo our kitchen, so that's going to take up some funds. But uh, I'm going to talk to my brother some more. He's uh, a construction manager. Sounds like he can maybe get us some insulation um, through whoever, however he could do that. He could probably get us the materials. Um, I don't know for sure. I'd have to talk to him again. But uh, I was also thinking about spray foam. I I don't have much experience with anything, but uh, I thought that'd be real easy to sp spray foam this all. And he he said that's pretty expensive, so I don't. I'll have to do some pricing. Hey guys, go into the comment section. Uh, we had one comment on last the last video. Um, Wisconsin farmer, once again, thank you very much for commenting. How many goats did you start with, and where did you buy them from? Private sale or auction? So I started with four goats, um, three does, and a buck. Uh, we, can't, we ended up castrating the buck, turned him into a weather. Um, I bought them from I brought bought them privately from uh, some people. They were uh, well, they weren't getting out at the time, but I bought bought them from some people, and then later on, I bought uh, ended up buying five more from them. Um, and they they were getting out of the goats at that time, so we, we bought a bunch of other stuff too. But uh, started with four, and uh, I think currently we're at about seventy total. Um, but that number fluctuates all the time, especially when I'm uh, selling and selling and kidding and all that. So. Once again, thanks for commenting. Uh, guys, if you have any questions, comments, anything, throw them in the comments. Um, I'm a small channel, so you're guaranteed to get your question answered, um, as long as it's appropriate and uh, I want to answer it on here. Um, so throw them down there. I appreciate it. Uh, if you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe. And uh, like the video, um, I'm getting 35 views to a video, and I'm only getting four likes. So I'd really appreciate it if we get those those like numbers up a little bit. Um, and if you're not subscribed and you're watching regularly, might as well just subscribe. Uh, all you need is a Google account. Um, you get a Google account. It's automatically a YouTube account, and then you can uh, subscribe, comment, like, and all that. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you all next time.